still TV3 New Day and now we'll be talking about the National Labour Commission and what they have been up to uh, recently. So in the recent past, there have been several agitations by workers' unions in various institutions, both public and private, which has come to the attention of the National Labour Commission. Now the commission, which seems to be overwhelmed by this increase in agitations, has bemoaned the state in which they are expected to adjudicate these matters. Now they have complained of lack of finance and logistics which is not helping them carry out their functions effectively. So the Executive Secretary of the Commission, Mr. Samuel Ofosu Asamoah, joins us not only to talk about their problems which they are facing, but also the state of some of these complaints that have been brought before them. Good morning and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're well, by the way. Very well. Very well, eh? I can Very see from the smile on your face. We're going to have a good conversation. But first of all, just for the sake of people who are watching, what really is the role of the National Labour Commission? Well, thank you very much. And uh, let me take the opportunity to say good morning to your viewers, mm -hmm. and especially to those who have always supported us, including mm. you. Thank you. Good morning. Well, the National Labour Commission um, is an institution, the quasi -judici uh, judicial body, which was set up in 2003 by law, Act mm. 651, mm. but became functional in uh, 2005. Okay. Yes, uh, we were set up basically to ensure that the labour front is quiet, and I mean, productivity mm. and investment, I mean, uh, get it right. So we have functions as a... Uh, you can see it in uh, section 138 of the act and uh, let me just read it out all right you. please go ahead yes and uh, that is the functions of the national labor commission as follows mm -hmm. facilitate the settlement of industrial disputes we settle industrial disputes to investigate labor related complaints in mm -hmm. particular unfair labor practices and take such steps as it considers necessary mm -hmm. to prevent labor disputes okay to maintain a database of qualified persons to serve as mediators and arbitrators. To promote effective labor cooperation between labor and management and to perform any other function conferred on it under this act or any other enactment. All right. So, so basically this is how we facilitate the settlement of disputes. Mm. Of course, once there's a labor relation or in every relation, yeah. even marriage relation, issues are bound to arise. Mm -hmm. So the commission was set up to assist yeah. in the settlement, to facilitate the settlement of uh, these issues or disputes when they arise. Okay. Right? But we, know we, are not, we shouldn't only be uh, reactive, but we should be proactive, proactive as well. As well yes. That is why we investigate issues and um, try to solve them, okay. then do the education and add on before they... All right. Yeah. I, I, there was a reason I asked for the functions of the NLC, especially because about two months ago, you remember Nagrat went on strike over the insurance policy, yeah. um, you know, problems as well, the deductions. Then we also had quite recently, I think on the 21st of October, you know, the um, unemployed nurses also picketed at the Ministry of Health. Uh, they wanted to be posted, they needed jobs, and that wasn't happening. Tutag also went on strike saying they wanted, you know, to be upgraded to the level of the regular university professors in terms of how much they should pay. What was the role of the NLC in all of this? Because if I'm checking, I'm not sure that at any point I heard, um, you know, any comments or the NLC stepping in to address the issue, unless I'm wrong, but that's why you're here. So tell me, what has been your role in all of these? I would not want to say you are wrong, but you will not have got your facts right. Okay. Because when it comes to a case of Nagrat, it is not Nagrat alone. Mm. It started with CTAG, that yes. is the College of Education Teachers. Um, they were on strike for almost a month. Mm -hmm. The National Labor Commission stepped in, mm. and they were able to get them back to the back classroom. To, yeah. In the case of Nagrat, yes, they were talking about their insurance. It was not about the deductions alone, mm. but they are tier two. And exactly, it was there. a number of things that not, they... It was not being paid. The National yeah. Labor Commission stepped in, mm. and uh, with the government getting them to do what they have to do, as to the deductions, what they are meant for, they say they made the ruling and it was complied with, and then they are back mm. to the classroom. Okay. In the case of the technical, technical yes. university teachers, yes, um, they have been um, converted. Uh, or they converted from polytechnics to universities. Yeah. So that uh, whoever was a lecturer in the polytechnic is now considered a lecturer in the public university. Okay. Because it belongs to the government. Mm. If that is the case, what is the condition of services of their colleagues in the public universities and that of theirs? Yeah. Right. So 
there was a, they were negotiating with the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, yes, they were. the Ministry of Employers. It took uh, quite some time, about 21 days, and uh, the National Labor Commission stepped in mm -hmm. upon a complaint from the Fair Wages and Salaries yeah. Commission. And then we stepped in, and within one day, they were back. Yes, they were back. Mm. In the so the National Labor Commission, we, we are not You've just been... sitting behind there. And you see, like I said, we don't always wait for complaints to come. Yeah. Right from the sometimes we just move in ourselves as a law. Even before the complaints come in. Yes. What about the unemployed nurses? What has been the situation? Um, you see, in the case of the unemployed nurses, we deal with labor relations. That mm. is those employers and employees. Mm -hmm. And not people looking for employment. Okay. Okay. What is the relation between um, somebody going out to look for a job and somebody who prospectively can engage the person. Mm. I don't think it is within the mandate. So it's not within the mandate? No, no, no. no. Okay. They so don't belong to labor. Where do they belong? Mm. They are seeking employment. If they have been engaged. But should you not be concerned because eventually they will oh, be employed? Oh, we are. Exactly. We are, except that we are not mandated, I mean, to uh, go into that. Okay. Yes. And even for what we are mandated to do, we have so much on our hands that we dare not add more. How e effective have you been, especially because, you know, you, you put forth uh, some of the problems and the challenges that the NLC is facing, lack of offices and a lot of other things. You are under-resourced, and so it makes it very difficult for you to function effectively. Why has that been so? Yes, um, we, 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 we are under-resourced, I must say, but um, thank God that we are endowed with wisdom, mm. understanding, courage, right is that enough and the, and the will to work okay so that with the little that is available we are able to do more mm -hmm. uh, you know we um, you just mentioned nagrat and i added sitag sitag yeah i added um that what do you call it um tutag mm -hmm. we have been handling the issues of the government pharmacies in recent past you always had the government pharmacies going on strike yeah, yeah. The, what was the last time you heard of the laboratory technicians mm. What was the last time you heard of doctors? You see? Okay. We have been doing a lot. Mm. Um, the miners as well. Okay. You know, you hear of the gold mines, they are on strike and this and that. So we've been doing a lot, except that, um, like the courts, we don't come out of the public, mm. in the public to come and say, we have, we have done this number of cases. We, are okay. doing, we don't advertise. You don't do that. But yes. then, you know, there was a publication where I read that you are unable to attend to all the, you know, complaints that come your way because, what, you meet once a week? Yes, we meet once a week. Once a week. And in a, in a day, how many cases are you able to Yes, you know, in handle? a day we, are, we do between four and eight. Okay. But on the average, we receive about 80 to 120 cases in a month. So wow. we should have about 20 to 25 cases in a week. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you have about 25 cases, and you see, but the interesting thing is that when the commission says to hear four cases, it doesn't mean that we do only four cases in a, in a week. Okay. You know, we have stages of, uh, I mean, um, dispute resolution. You see that we, we facilitate the settlement of cases. If you bring your case before the commission, right, we write to whoever you are complaining against, which we call the respondent. Mm -hmm. He is given 14 days to respond. Should he feel he's given another seven days, adding up to 21? Okay. When we receive the response, we study your, I mean, complaint and the, uh, what do you call it, the response. Mm -hmm. You see, when it comes to dispute resolution, it's supposed to start with negotiation. We look at it, and then the, we, the parties are referred to whatever agreement they have, mm. right? Either the contract of employment, the collective bargaining agreement that yes, this is what you have. Can the two of you go and negotiate because this is where we identified as a problem areas. Mm. But in most cases, uh, the parties are agitated. They yeah. don't want to see the they face just... of each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have our industrial relations department, and they do what we call facilitation. They facilitate the settlement. All right. So they facilitate the negotiation. They help you to mm. negotiate. Okay. Should you be able, unable to settle at the negotiation level? The next stage is mediation, mm. right? You see that we have a list, a data of mediators and arbitrators. So we give you the option that, yes, now that the two of you are unable to negotiate, we can bring in the third party, mm -hmm. right, to assist you to solve, to solve your problem. problem. So right. you are given the list of mediators for you to select. You know, we don't impose them on you. Mm. So you can choose a sole mediator or okay. a panel of mediators, ah. right? And both parties, but well, both parties are unable to settle, the first thing is to agree to have the mediation. 
But if you are unable to settle on who from the choices that you made from the data, then the commission will assist. Sometimes right. you have a name appearing. You choose three people, you choose three. But you may have two names appearing in, in both. both. Right? Exactly. So the two are engaged, then the commission may add one. Okay. Or you can settle on one of them as a sole mediator. Mm. Right. So mediation field, then we go to voluntary arbitration. All right. Yes, we give you the option to go to arbitration, but it's voluntary. Mm -hmm. You must submit. And then you are given the list of arbitrators in that case too. You could choose a sole arbitrator or have a panel of um, arbitrators okay. to look at the issue. All right. And when they come out with the award, the award is taken as a decision of the of commission. The, commission. All the right. other stage is where the parties are unable or agree to mediation or go to mediation is not settled. They are not able to avail themselves for voluntary. Mm. Then the commission will have a summary hearing. All right. As if the case was, they will sit as if the case mm. was being heard in court, listening to both parties and come out with a decision. But this will take long because if you meet only once a week, then that means that the person has to, like you said, there are 21 days in between and so they have to wait until... Oh, some of the cases. You know, some the, of, some of the cases doesn't travel that far. Okay, okay. It doesn't travel But what that happens far. to those cases that are on head? What happens to them? So let's say this month about... 80 cases came in. You were able to only, um, you know, work on about 20 of them. The rest, what happens? Do you move them forward into yes, the next month? For, yes. So then forward. the next month, the new cases that come, what happens? So there's always a carry forward. Yes, yeah, there's always a carry forward. So and this is because of lack of, you know, resources. You see, yes, yes. Because, um, you know, when you take the electoral commission, they have an office in Accra. Mm. And have offices in all the districts. Yeah. You take the national service. They have offices in all the districts. Mm -hmm. You take the health insurance. They have offices everywhere. And look at, you mentioned National Commission on Civic yeah. Education, almost all the commissions. But the NCC is also complaining about lack of, you but know, they, well, resources oh, and certainly. all of that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, my elementary economist will tell <laughs> me that human ones are insatiable, yeah. right? But it doesn't mean that, um, certainly. Mm. Even, How many offices even, does even the, the sea, NLC have? The sea, being, uh, being the biggest water body, so collects its share of the rain. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. We have only two offices outside Accra. Outside Accra? Yes. We have that one in Takradi. Mm -hmm. uh, just last one month, um, we opened one in Kumasi. Okay. Yes. But even that of Takradi, um, we are in a threatened position. Why? Yes, uh, it's the house in um, STMA, that's the Kendi Takradi Metropolitan Authority. They give us a place. The office is so dilapidated. The wood building is weak. Mm. We have the ceiling falling. And uh, quite recently, uh, Principal Industrial Relations Officer escaped death by millimeters. Mm. She just got up of her seat for lunch. And then the ceiling started falling, you know, the concrete slabs. Yeah. On the chair she was sitting, so she would have crashed her head. So I have served notice to the regional minister mm. to assist us get a place, like they've been doing for the other commissions and other bodies. Yeah. I mean, when you go to the regional administration and the municipal, they have to give, yes, a better place for us to. There is labor everywhere, because mm -hmm. if you have a problem in Takrade, Bogoso, anywhere from the western region, you have to travel yeah, to Accra. So and people don't assess justice, not because they don't have a case, mm -hmm. right? So you see, our services are free, but it is Come inaccessible. Some. Yeah. It is inaccessible. Mm. Assuming you were working at, um, as a, a, a mine worker or let's say anywhere, mm -hmm. and you were receiving about less than a thousand cities, and you have not been paid for months, mm -hmm. certainly if you come to the Labor Commission, you'll be getting you justice. But that. how would you travel from Takra, the Bogoso, Takwa? To Accra for let's say five thousand. Yeah. You come two, three times, your case is not heard. Sometimes we list the case, we want to hear the case. But because of the number of cases and the time we deal with certain cases, and when there are urgent matters involving yeah. strikes, mm. whenever you see strikes are emergencies. Yeah. So mm. when they come, we give them priority. Mm. We must hear those cases. Imagine this two tag this thing when it came within three it days. To, yeah. When it comes to strikes within three days. Mm. When it comes to cases involving essential workers, essential service providers, like our doctors, mm -hmm. our nurses, um, let's say when it comes to electricity like VRA, when we come to transport and this thing, this I Alulu and this thing. Yeah. Yeah, so that is it. But if we have offices in the districts and you you assuming you are working in a chop bar or a restaurant or a bar, most of them take just about 300 mm -hmm. thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So that if the person has been cheated by the barkeeper and they say, how would you travel from your district in Sefi to Accra? Way. Well, yeah. so if you have the offices there, we could just assess them. So we just have been appealing to the 
municipal, metropolitan, and districts. Why has you nothing know? been done about it? Is it because they don't well, consider some have, the NLC some have, an yes. important institution? Perhaps they may not have averted their mind to that. You see, I see the labor as the air we breathe. Mm. Because it is free, we don't find its importance until you have your nose closed. Yeah. That is where you see the importance. When there is labor agitation, the way they rush and they are ready to give off anything to have it so you'll be surprised. Hmm. Both in the you see, and look at uh, the season in which we are now. You know, when it's getting to the end of the year, mm. that is where um, agreements will have to be I mean, renewed. renewed. Yeah. Uh, collective bargaining ar arrangements, you have to review them. Uh, people claiming for an increase allowances. Mm -hmm. This is the time. This is the so, time. this is where the agitation and disagreements will come, mm -hmm. right? At the same time, that is for the private sector. And when it comes to the government too, it's getting to elections. Yeah. It is not only at the end of the year where agreements will have to be reviewed, mm -hmm. but it is getting to elections. Mm -hmm. If you don't do this, we will vote for you. Yeah. So we are in the season of strikes and increased agitation. Yeah. And you need skill and commitment to manage it. Hmm. We have to engage the workers. I mean, get them to understand. It is not possible for the government to pay off everybody and this thing. But we must get them to understand and appreciate the situation and so on. So it is not just a matter of settlement. Yeah. But the education aspect, like you have given me the opportunity to speak to, to speak, it now yeah. and other platforms. And then uh, we, we explain things to them. Hmm. That is, uh, to make them get it. Because it is only when the labor front is quiet that could That's increase productivity. It's assured. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I see. Anyway, this is all we have, um, you know, time for. And so oh, really? I hope, yes, unfortunately. It's very short. I know you would have wanted to speak on a lot more other issues as well. But you have time to organize beauty pageants. <laughs> yes. We have been watching you on this. Don't worry. We will, we will ensure that you come back and speak you on the other issues. Three, yes, right? I do. If you have a problem now, mm -hmm. as you know, you are unfairly terminated. Yes. Suspended. Harassed, mm. discriminated. I'll come to the NLC. Then you should give us time. Okay, then we should give you time, eh? Yeah, we should have time to come and explain what is fair and unfair termination. Yeah. When yeah. one can resort to a strike, the mm -hmm. steps, what you have to do, uh, where there's discrimination, where there's um, unfair labor practices. I think you should have a platform for us. We will if work we, on that. We educating the public. Some of these strikes will not come. Okay. Then, uh, we have a case where people use a um, text message, to pass it around. Strike. We are going on strike. Yeah. And within one hour, because they are, they just shut off the machine, and the whole office, the whole factory nearly got bent. Mm. You understand? But it was just a small issue which could be solved. Yeah. You know when we, we, I was just let, just let me. No end problem. I'm giving you just a few seconds. Yes. <laughs> you see, I was trying to give the theory of strikes. In the, when it comes to strike, why do people go on strike? Mm. There are people who have genuine cases. Yeah. You have agreed to pay us this, review this, and you haven't yeah, you done. Haven't. If you don't, you will go on strike. Yeah. Right. Getting to this time, too, we have politically motivated strikes. Why don't you go on strike? If today teachers are on strike, they are on strike, it will it's make the make, government unpopular. Yeah. That is there. There are people who naturally do not want to work. They are lazy. Mm. So left to them alone, <laughs> they, was, the they, they will strike the whole year. <laughs> so with the least thing, let's go on strike. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. There may be people who will be wanting, it's getting to the end of the year. I mean, so people's term are coming to an end. So people want to say, so if it were me, this is yeah, it. This so, is that, so, you see, we have to study the system and see which strike is likely to happen at this time. Are these people getting to elections? Interesting. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you back and have a, you know, a discussion on that as well. Uh, so that at least we can uh, tell ahead of time who might be going on strike and how we can avert some well, of these. We can avert some exactly. of Exactly. But things, anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure you. having you on. I've been speaking to the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, Mr. Samuel Ofosu Asamo. And I hope that you've learned a thing or two uh, from this as well. But I wish you the best and I hope that maybe by next year we'll have more offices dotted across sure, the country. Sure, sure. And so I'm sure you will be appealing to not only, you see, government is supposed to be doing this, but there's enough. But I, I just listened to how much some of the companies are giving for... Um, I don't mm. yeah. 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 So, so, don't, don't let some people go on a strike just because of this. Oh, no, no, we are not <laughs> going on strike. But I mean, and it is not the company. The churches have also said the churches can also help. Mm. Look at this huge, huge thing they are doing. Imagine the Church of Pentecost in Ghana giving us one Sunday that we are 
raising money for National Labor Commission. I bet you we can have offices in three regions at the time. All right. With ICGC, Action, Perez, Presbyterian Church, yeah. and this, all of them. We are ready to receive Their them. Their financial directors are considering yes. and you see, that. It will be better for these churches to assist us more than the, some of the companies. You know, some of the companies, they want to help. But, but government is supposed to do this. They are not doing it. Do you know the number of things the government is supposed to do? Uh, it's, yeah, so why Who is supposed to do our been? roads? <laughs> Who is supposed to clear the garbage? Exactly. Who is supposed to build our house? So we are hoping they do it. We yes. pay taxes. But so. what else we hope? Who oh, asks for the tax? Uh -huh. We pay just as we evade. On that note. <laughs>